There's only one way up there. Okay, I'm going up. Good. Make it quick. Believe me, I ain't gonna drag this out. gonna drag this out. Sao Paulo's most hallowed place of worship. Looking back, it was strange how the cops never showed up, but things had a habit of only making sense to me, looking back long after I'd run out of time to fix them. How to make an entrance, bro. Now let's get the hell out of here. Finds us the same way you found me, slumped in a bar, drunk on self-pity. I'd been sitting at the bar for three hours, or about five years, depending on how you looked at things. I tried not to look at things. I tried not to think about when it was that my existence became... ...less about the things that make up people's lives, and more about the holes that losing those things leave behind. But I wasn't doing a very good job at it. Oh, hey, the women. I need to get laid, What baby. the music yeah. got? We're here. Come on. 
These pricks had been annoying me for days. They were typical Jersey rich kids. The ringleader, I think his name was Tony, his dad was some well-known hood, drug dealer, racketeer, pillar of the New Jersey community. Line them up, line them up, line them up. Let me ask you a question. Let's go. Where the fuck are your donuts? <laughs> this kid had a well-developed sense of humor for New Jersey. <laughs> Seriously? I thought I told you to get out of here, old man. Yeah, get old out man, here. old man. It's a nice echo. Your gorillas have personalities of their own, or they just agree with everything you say. Very funny, old He's man. Very it up. Snap it up. Funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, has been washed up old cops. You go on TV. Yeah. Tell some jokes about how you got your wife killed or some shit. Yeah, where's the little old lady? Or. Hey, hey. How you got involved with killers? Oh. I own this town, amigo. <laughs> That's a good line. You practice that in front of the mirror in your underwear? Your father owns this town. Yeah, dear old dad, well-known drug dealer and murderer. You're nothing but a chump. Hey, you disrespect my family. You ain't got the right. Huh? Hey, don't, you, don't take that from this punk town. I ain't taking nothing from him. God hasn't already deprived him of. But I'm my oh, star anytime. Now say you're get sorry. You get, fucking say you're sorry. has been caught, motherfucker. Say you are sorry. Say you're fucking sorry. Look away from me. Look away from me. Don't you stare at me. Say you're sorry. Listen to him. Which you want first? Don't act clever, you fucking leather jacket, dipshit cop card. Don't act clever. Right I will blow your look brains look all, oh, all over this fuck counter, this every fucking where. Come on, Tony, come yeah, on. Don't fuck with me, Marty. I'll shoot you as well. Don't fuck with me. Marty, he ain't fucking kidding. Put your gun down, son. Who the fuck is this? Put the gun oh. down now. Oh, 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 hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 Thank you, thank you. Stay now get the fuck me. out of here before you get shot. I got you. Who the fuck are you? I got you. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Go on. I'm gonna fuck off. Get you, I'm coming back for you, yeah. you fuck. I look forward I to it. Yeah? Stay I'm right back. here. Stay right here. You don't know who you're fucking with. Yeah, whatever. Max fucking Bane. How you doing, man? I'm doing about as good as I look. You don't remember, remember me? me? Pasos. How pasos? Come on, we went to the academy together, man. You don't remember? That's going back a long way, French. I spent five years on the beat in the Bronx, working homicide. I nearly got killed, man. I gave up. I got into private work. Here, Central America, Brazil, where my family comes from. All over. Ah, that's great. Travel, see the world. Yeah. Keeps me busy. I take care of people, you know? Proper bodyguarding. Hey, I'm working for a good firm. I'm actually here on a bit of a recruitment drive. Yeah, well, why don't you drive on off back into the sunset there, Pesos? It's been nice catching up. At least let me buy you a drink. Yeah, sure. Anybody can buy me a drink. All right. Two more. Look, this is the way we do it in Brazil, baby. I had to admit, I kind of like the guy. Hey, another round, another round. Max is buying. He, he had a great set of stories, but I still wasn't interested in becoming a white knight again. Soldier. Cheers. What, I don't look like I go to Shakespeare or something? Well, I'm both. Soldier! Soldier! Cheers! You faggot still got something to say to me? Yeah. Fuck off. I don't like spicks who tell me to fuck off. Well, good for you. Now fuck off! Don't stare at me, whore. Fuck you, asshole. No dick, asshole. What'd you say? You heard me. I'm not frightened of you, you spray tan Guido douche. You Girl sure I had balls. I had to give her that. <laughs> oh, shit! I don't know why I did it. I guess I never liked seeing girls get hit. But from that moment, I was dead in that town.
around here, but there ain't much for... Oh, shit! Sounds like half of New Jersey is in here! Uh, to do with it. Time to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. shows up. Come on. I thought about saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. setting me up for a fall, but something told me to stay put and trust him. And there he was, back in amongst it to help me out of a jam. corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back.
It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. No thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max yeah, that Max looks about right. Pain! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga! Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil shit. men. You were born in filth and squalor, but today you will be Lands in fire! No, no, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that. But I got to thinking, it was what he was waiting for. A chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more, I think he was right. left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there.
gunfire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. <coughs> Right on the Pulaski, pal. Don't look down. All right, guys, let's look alive. We're gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation. Let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Kind of Up something. there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? Help there, brother? I needed his help five minutes ago. You looked like you were doing fine. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. I could go on alone. But it wouldn't be so much fun! Yeah, they're always one step ahead! They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles. I was guessing the stairs wouldn't take us to the penthouse, but they were worth a shot. to 
the street. You settling in here? Come on, let's go. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. What the fuck? Leather. There's plenty here, go and begging. This don't show the blood so much. Hidden away for a rainy day. How's this look? This went on the more I wanted okay. to prove the killers wrong. You can't buy your way through life. The guys dead around me were DeMarco's victims as much as I was gonna be. He dangled something irresistible in front of them, and now it was them who paid the ultimate price. <laughs> Ugh! 
around these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah? Think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, Amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. Uh, you want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River. Looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapre. Why did you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Uh, somebody told them we were going to be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. I wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I'd been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I'm gonna cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere.
Looked like Passos had brought us to the right place. That was the chopper the Commando Sombra used to escape the nightclub attack. If Fabiana wasn't around here, then at least someone that knew where she was had to be. Here I was, some hopped up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. A bullet will sometimes work as well as a key. I had no idea what lay ahead. And as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. Oi! Dani! Você tá aí? Você tem um cigarro?
want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. Just passed their sell by, but I wasn't picky. I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. That was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did.
It seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. circle of this low rent hell. to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared. Proper little boy scout.
seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. Malaria tablets might have been more useful out there. I had to keep on going across the docks. They were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well. <laughs> <laughs> 